All right, so Jared's going to stick around and show us a, a few more things. We got some stuff from Jackal as well as some, some SBK. SKB. SKB cases, excuse me. But first, uh, Jared, let's start off with uh, this bait that Crete already hyped up, the Jackal Gargle Buzz the band bait. bait. He called it Gurgle. It's a gargle. I was showing it to him prior to prior to getting on here on the live deal. And uh, it's called the Gargle. So I got him the other day, and I went to Lopez. I caught a really nice fish on it. Um, but it took me a little bit to kind of figure out what it does because it was so new. Um, so here's what it is. It's got a swinging blade, okay? So it's kind of like a – I didn't know if it's like a spinner bait, buzz bait, but in actuality it could do both just depending on how you fish it. So it's got a really cool head, first of all, really nice sharp hook. And then, you know, with jackal stuff, their skirts are really, really good on all their all their uh, skirted baits. Um, so I got – I got four of the colors. I think Corey, I gave Corey the other one. It's kind of, uh, what is it, chartreuse and white? Chartreuse white, yeah. Yeah. With the little oh, orange on like the throat. Yeah, Dan can show it on the camera there. Yeah, this is like a chartreuse shad kind of. It's got that, it's not that bright white. This here's a shad color, basic white, and then black. So the biggest, the big thing that I learned about this bait was, first of all, I would throw it on braided line. Um, I'm sure you could throw it on, you know, your regular spinner bait, buzz bait type setup, whatever, whatever you're doing with that. But as you can see, I keep saying this, it swings. Okay. So this thing casts like a rocket, like a bullet. I mean, you just, and that thing's gone. It's three eighths ounce. Um, and what I learned was if you keep your rod tip up and, and you bend this down a little bit, bend that wire just a hair, it's going to act more like a buzz bait. And when it comes across the water, it makes a really unique kind of gurgling sound. There's some other uh, topwater baits um, that make a real similar sound to it. But because there's treble hooks on these baits, you can't fish it, you know, through grass or around grass or in the sticks. This bait you can, obviously, because it's just got a single hook and it rides true. So that hook's facing up. You're not going to snag brush, get all messed up with the grass and things on your on your bait. Um, so if you bend it out, then you can fish it more like a spinnerbait. Like I was doing that at Lopez. That's actually how I caught that fish is I was kind of winding it real slow, kind of checking it out in 180. So here so, you're seeing real quick, these are the two fish. Uh, shout out to Jeff Hodges, your guide for the day. You guys got yeah, some yeah. nice ones. And then if you scan to the next one, there's that fish. That now they can see the photo of the, that gargle in the fish's lip right there. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, that, you know, that, that, like I said, I was just kind of experimenting with it because from what I learned from Jackal to that point, you know, I mean, this was brand new. Like I got it. I think I was the first guy in the United States to have one. Um, I, they had told me, yeah, you know, it's a top water or subsurface bait. And I'm like subsurface, you know, there's not too many baits you can do that with. So that's actually how that fish ate it. And so I was like, okay, you know, and it, it's going to make a different, um, a different presentation, a different vibration in the water as opposed to a spinnerbait. Mm. So just something different. Like I said, by just bending in or out that wire, you can simply, and I'm not talking, you know, get a pair of pliers and bend it straight out or bend it all the way in, just a little slight adjustment. And then keep, if you want to fish like a buzz bait, throw it out there. And again, with that distinct sound, that's what really kind of, I was like, uh oh, those places where I couldn't throw these other top water baits because of the structure and you know what whatever it may be i can now throw this but it's got that sound i'm gonna wreck some more somewhere um so probably not here at uh, sturgeon bay this week um <laughs> not in this <laughs> not in this environment maybe if i was in a creek or something but that's so not happening it's got a little hook keeper on the back too were you just fishing it bare at lopez or do you have something on there no i put on a little actually a 3.8 rhythm wave on it um that's i throw that or a toad style bait on the back of my buzz baits uh, a lot or even a spinner bait yeah that little keeper right there that's going to really hold whatever you're doing um and now what i do kind of along with some of the we just got done talking with the eco pro and their keepers i will actually take a pair of needle nose and kind of bend that keeper in just a little bit just so it has more of a bite you don't have to it works fine just the way it is but it's kind of a little ways I tweak things out. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, 
honestly, I've, I haven't thrown it for more than shoot that one evening. And then I flew back here to Sturgeon Bay and I didn't really feel like it was the deal. Uh, but I'll be fishing the world championship next week somewhere. So if we're going around some lakes with some habitat on the bank, mm -hmm. I definitely will be throwing this because I know for a fact they haven't seen it, but they, I know that fish like that kind of sound, that gurgling, you know, different sound. So, so you gave, you gave this one to Corey? No, I did not give that one that's to Corey. You said it on camera. We have it on camera. You guys all heard it. That is mine. Because if that's the case, I'm going to take this because he always steals my stuff. So. <laughs> Yes, yes. Well, if, if Corey were to keep it, it'd probably end up on the dock in Lake Port or something. <laughs> <laughs> one time during that vlog, it cast off. And I still think one of you guys, one of you two on the losing team, by the way, cut my line. So I made that first cast. But uh, I, I lost, I might have lost a prototype jackal or the prototype, uh, what River was it? To see, no. It was the crankbait, the tactical crankbait, wasn't it? No, it was the, the, Z, the Evergreen jackhammer. It was those new... Uh, the okay. new custom tackle no, colors. There was too many times to count now. 